Hey, hey, I see somebody watching. Oh, it's Melanie. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Cheryl. There we go. There's the comments. Hey, sunshine. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Um, it is evening time here in Idaho. I mean, I guess it's evening time. It's four o'clock. So, hey, Kimmy. Oh, Joseph. Hi. Hi, Jody. Oh my gosh. It's so nice to see you all. It has been so long. It's been a minute. Has it not? <laughs> so, I got a couple of images from Sweet November stamps today and I printed them and I was going to see what you guys would like to have me color. Um, there are several of them. This one's just the same image printed vertically instead of horizontally. And then this one. So whatever it is that y'all would like me to color. So you can say one two or three. Let me move them down a little bit. One, two, or three. Oh my gosh, Kim. Lakita! Hey, babe! Um, Kim, so um, Julie Giles got me these and um, they're cold brew carmine car coffee caramels. Holy crap. They're so good. I can't even talk. I just finished one. Okay. It looks like the ones have it. So we're going with number one. Now, should I do horizontal or vertical? I kind of like, man, I don't know. They're so cute. I'm giving you guys all the decision making. I'm making no decisions. Yeah. If you find these anywhere, like just go ahead and buy a boatload of them. Because they are so good. They're not like bitter coffee. They're, oh my gosh, they taste like our buckets of coffee that we had. Um, horizontal or vertical? <coughs> Excuse me. Horizontal? Joseph says horizontal. Pretty sure that's what we're going to go with then. All right. So I usually always print um, sunshine vertical after I already... Sorry. Um, so this is actually the one I intended to color today. Buckets of coffee. You know it, my girl. Um, no, this is like a local Milligan. It's like a local scenario up in um, Seattle area. It's a local candy company, I guess. Oh my gosh. Mm. Hi, Milligan. <laughs> um. Okay, so off the top, um, we're going to start coloring. This is the image that drew me in today um, for the Sweet November release. I'm not an affiliate. She doesn't have an affiliate program or anything like that. Um, but you could totally tell her that Sweet Sentiment sent you. Um, and this is a digital image. I think it's four bucks. So cute. I love digis because, um, you know, just like you saw, you can make them horizontal, vertical, whatever. I also love that, hey Renee, long time no see. I also love that um, this one I just changed the opacity from 100% to 25% so that, um, oh, bummer Milligan, so that the lines were gray. Um, additionally, you can change the orientation of them. You can do, um, yeah, Amy is an awesome colorist. I've had the pleasure of being on several design teams with her and she is super sweet as well. Exceedingly knowledgeable. So, um, we're going to get coloring and, um, I guess I like have some tea to spill for y'all. Um, it's been a while, so you guys probably may or may not know. Um, Kim, can you tag Kat, please? Because she's texting me saying that she does not see a link to the video. Um, she probably just needs to refresh. Um, anyways, so I, yes, I am still sweet sentiment. 
I am no longer Sweet Sentiment Stamps, um, which is cool because I had never had any intention of owning a stamp company or a craft store. You can ask my cousin. Um, but there is an amazing sale on the website right now because I am trying to liquidate as much of the physical stock as possible. Um, because I need to make room, y'all, because I'm going back to teaching online coloring classes. Oh, yeah. Um, really wasn't my intent, but it was, um, you know, the path that I've been being led down. So, um, it just kind of happened. It came up out of the blue and, um, yeah. So there we are. Oh, you found me. Yay, cat. <laughs> so I do have a sale going on on the website, www.sweetsentiment.us. That will remain my website. And um, I am, I will, um, right? So excited about glasses. Cat, yes. Absolutely. I would love to color some of your images live. And I actually was going to ask you if I could show what I've been working on. Um, if I, I, I don't know if they're on your site or not, but it seems like I saw them on your site. So I was going to ask. Um, but if those of you who don't know, Kathleen Driggers is the owner of Cat Scrappiness. And um, she is, she's under, under the, uh, under the radar. <laughs> She's here hanging out with us. Um, I had the pleasure of being across from her and Kimmy in Seattle and um, at the Puyallup, Washington show. And we ended up having so much fun. Um, it started with Kim telling me that there were... Um, the one that I've been working on, the green one, um, she, Kim told me, I'm totally throwing you under the bus, Kim, that there were, um, buckets of coffee, <laughs> actual, for real, buckets of coffee in the parking lot. And I was like, shut up. There's not buckets of coffee in the parking lot. And she was like, dude. There's buckets of coffee. And she walks in and she has a literal bucket of coffee. And I was like, no. So even though I had already already drank a venti, God, you'd think I'd been drinking today, um, which is 20 ounces of coffee, I promptly went to the parking lot and got a bucket of coffee and it was funny how many people were like this is so on brand for you and it was hilarious and fun and there was so much ice in it that like as I drank the coffee it kept on filling itself back up because the ice would melt and so then I had like the never-ending bucket of coffee <laughs> Yeah, see, the ice kept melting, which was fine. But, yeah, I the next day when I was driving home, I had to drink buckets of water. <laughs> I don't know. Kim got two buckets. I'm just saying. <gasps> Julie, I was just talking about you. Um, these caramels that you sent me, holy baby Jesus. I'd slap my mother to get some more of those. They are so stinking good. And you can totally say I told you so because you told me those were the best caramels ever or caramels. I don't know. I always say it wrong. Okay, you guys. So do you want me to zoom in a little bit? Oh, that's probably super helpful. I know. So, um, on these lives, it's more of a hangout, chill out, chit chat, talk, 
all those kinds of things, um, and less of a class. When I teach my coloring classes, we get a little more nitty gritty on everything. Oh my gosh, Julie, they are so good. Um, I tell you about, you know, the colors, why we're using what colors, um, why we're doing what we're doing, how everything works, um, all of that kind of stuff. So for the most part, um, what you'll get on my live videos is, um, I mean, you'll get some instruction, yes, um, but you, for the most part, will get the actual teaching part uh, will be in the paid classes. Um, I will tell you, always rotate your paper so that your wrist is in a comfortable position because trying to color when you're all like, Meh, it's not going to work, especially if you make that noise. Meh. I know. I'm cuckoo. It's okay. Where did you get them, Julie? And hi, I need to find them, hoping they have them down by me. You're in a very different part of Washington, yeah, Kim? How far was it for you to get to Puyallup? I know, this image is really stinking cute. Um, I saw it, one of my um, design team members, um, I guess she was on my design team because I don't really have a design team now. Um, Meg posted it. And Meg is just a super sweet, super awesome chick. And she is on the Sweet November design team as well. And I saw her coloring of it and I was like, holy crikeys, I need that image. About an hour south. Yeah, this is Amy's. Amy Young from Sweet November. Yeah. Amy and I used to talk a lot back when I first started crafting. Um, not that I actually craft, but coloring. And um, she mentored me on, on quite a few things. Um, just a really nice, really nice person. Like I said, very skilled and knowledgeable. Um, she's the one that got me started doing backgrounds. I was like, girl, I can't draw. And she was like, dude, you don't have to draw to do backgrounds. And I was like, um, are you kidding me? Of course you have to draw to do backgrounds. Look at all this stuff that you draw. And then she broke it down for me. And I was like, oh my gosh, you don't necessarily have to draw to do backgrounds. She was like, yeah, that's what I've been telling you. So if you're like me, once you get that into your head, <laughs> um, backgrounds will come much easier for you. So right now I'm just using a very classic Caucasian skin blend. Um, I figure she's underwater most of the time because I mean, that's where mermaids live, duh. And since she's underwater most of the time, she likely has a paler skin tone. Or she's like me, and she just stays out of the sun. The girl up here, I'll do probably a little bit of a darker, more sun-kissed skin tone. Those of you who know me, and know me well, know that Coloring Mermaids is my jam. I don't know why, because I'm not particularly fond of mermaids. It's not like, I'm like, ooh, I love mermaids. Um, but, yes, I will be teaching backgrounds. Um, Amy colored yesterday. She colors on Saturdays. Or does she color every day of the week? I know I caught a video of hers not very long ago, and I was super happy to be able to pop on and catch her. Um, 
Bigfootcandy.com. They're local here in Immunclaw, but you should be able to get them online. <gasps> Sandy, hello, my friend. Yes, Saturday and some Sundays. Saturdays, I think. Joseph, mermaids are cool. Mermen are awesome and more elusive. Yes, <laughs> mermen are very much more elusive. I love a good mer merman stamp, though. Um, Amy had a couple of them. No, you know who it was? It was some odd girl. Um, Christy Dahlman had a couple of mermen and they were awesome because they weren't like overdone. I think some people try to like compensate when they draw. And, um, Sandy, I never got onto your website to buy those stamps yesterday. I know. I hoard my somewhat girl too. I love them. Lavender caramels are a hard pass from me. That's a no. I mean, you know, yeah, she had some amazing mermen. They were so cool. Um, I super loved them and I probably still have them somewhere. Um, but when one of my computers died, I lost a ton of my digis and I have not been able to get a hold of Christy to see um, if I can do anything about that or if she will help me do anything about that. I literally, that is the only store that I had literally every single one of her digital images. All of them. Every one of them. You're on the Swedish candy train? Hmm. This is what we're talking about. This candy right here. Um, it is so amazing. It is literally the best caramel I've ever had. And I am a connoisseur. So these are the bomb. And of course she got me car like cold brew coffee. And I mean, hello. Okay. So this girl, I'm going to do a little bit darker. I like to do the skin tones first. Um, also Julie, can you tell what I'm wearing just by looking at my sleeves? <laughs> um, it's soft, but it's not overtly chewy. <gasps> no way on an M&M. &M. I know, Julie, you're the best. Julie sent me a package out of the blue that was like full of my favorite things. And it just touched my heart um, in ways I didn't know. And um, I'm very grateful to her. Yeah, breaking break the tooth. Yeah, it does. Okay, I have to move my chair down some. Okay, so I'm going to start with E00 this time. Out of five stars, Sandy, I give it like 12. <laughs> 12 out of five stars. Okay, so I'm going to turn her sideways. And y'all, I'm going to be asking you to pick colors. So um, just FYI, be thinking about what colors you would like to see. Because I love when the audience participates. And at the end of this, um, I will write down the names of whoever was here. And I'll send you this card. I'll do a drawing. Um, oh, yeah. Let's get back to business. Shall we get back to business? <laughs> Forgot about all the business. I started talking about caramels and like my whole everything went out the window. Okay. So I will be doing lives on Sundays because it's what works best for my family at this juncture in time. So that could be subject to change. But just so you know, um, part of this whole thing is I want to spend more time with my family, less time traveling and doing all of that stuff. So um, my son is going to be a senior this year, so I want to be present. Um, <laughs> blue and teal, pink. Uh, no, I did not share with the boys. What kind of, what? No. Uh-uh. They don't appreciate this. Um, 
Anyways, so um, I am selling everything that is on the website. I mean, pretty much everything is 20% off at least. And then um, most of the stamps are about 40% off or stamps and dies bundles. Um, and then some of the stamps are 30% off. And then there's a bunch of dies as well, like the project dies. I know the shadows kind of seem like they're all over the place here, but I'm thinking that the sun is coming like literally from this direction from her face. And so her arm would like block the sun and leave a shadow on her leg. Um, her bathing suit here. So, I mean, that's why my shadows are kind of all over the place right now. Hot pink and lime green. Heck yeah. Um, Milligan. So we're hoping that the first class will be releasing August 1st. Um, I have several companies that are, um, I'm working with that want to sponsor classes and, um, you know, have their company featured as a class sponsor. So, um, this first one is a little bit of, um, more just like, you know, more coming back kind of thing. So it's not really sponsored per se. Um, if you guys watch my TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, you've seen a video that has a couple of sneaks in it. Um, oh, you did get your order. Good, Joseph. Um, there will be several options. So first you can get just the class video all by itself with nothing extra in it. Secondly, you can get the class video and the background class video. Those are two separate things. Um, yes, are you singing it now? I know it. Um, then each month there will be 100 kits and the first 100 people can buy what's called um, all the things. <laughs> I want all the things. And it's a color all the things. And that's where that original hashtag came from for color all the things. And you get a kit that has usually like a stamp set and some maybe like a paper pad and um embellishments um you know different stuff those of you who got the kits before you guys remember um the kits are definitely worth it they are awesome i try to source them and get them um to all be worth quite a bit of money um and I have, like I said, a ton of amazing sponsors that want to sponsor these kits um, to not only get their company in the spotlight of the class, but because they're just kind humans and they also believe, like me, that you rise by lifting others. So it's just really good PR to, um, you know, have that kind of put that out in the universe. So it's fun. People love it, but that's why I keep it down to 100 kits because um, with the sponsors and stuff, it just, um, I hate asking for more than that because it's a lot. I mean, especially for small businesses. Yes, it's T-E-O-H, Teal Envelopes of Happiness. There will Those will definitely be coming back. The T-E-O-H is back, baby. Um, all of your classes come in teal poly mailers. And so the first time I did classes, we had what was called T-E-O-H, Teal Envelope of Happiness. And um, the class releases on the first. When you go online and buy it, you'll get instant access to the class and your kit will be shipped, um, you know, depending on the day of the week 
that it is, but usually next day. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. I know a lot of y'all are looking forward to it. Um, right. Everybody loved getting the teal envelopes of happiness. So of course we have to bring that back. Um, Nona lives in the town next to me. So she especially loved getting TEOHs because we generally would go out to breakfast um, when the class is released. So I would bring their teal envelopes with me. So they would take me out to breakfast in order to bribe me to get their envelopes right away. Sometimes even early. And I was totally okay with that. <laughs> I know Lakita, La why did I say Lakita? Laquita, I, I will miss seeing you at the shows too. Aw, Kathleen, you're so sweet. Thank you for supporting me. Um, so yeah, it will it will be a lot of fun. Hi, Jen. Um, and since you're here, Jen, let me tell everybody that you guys all know and love your espressos. Um, our stamping positioner tool, helper tool, and the espressos will continue to be available and the candy cups probably as well in Jen Hill Hughes's um, Etsy shop. <laughs> I know, right, Julie? <laughs> I know. And Nona, they're going to be back. Sometimes Nona and um, Sherry and Mama Sherry and Aunt Candy would all come over and help me pack kits too when I had a specific amount. We would pack kits and then we would craft. We had lots of fun. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Laquita, yes. I'm going to miss seeing you at the shows too. I adore you and you are so beautiful and you always just make me smile your silly personality. Um, so I hope that you take the classes or your daughter takes the classes. It's not that I won't ever be at any of the shows. There's a couple of companies that want me to come and teach classes for them. So I just might not have a booth. Um... Oh, cat, you're going to need it for sure. So it's called an espresso and I'll show you here in just a second when I'm done with this color. I'm still going to carry my coloring paper just so y'all know you'll still be able to get the coloring paper. It's just going to be in like a pre-order scenario now because I have to buy so much of it at a time. So just FYI, you will still have access to the awesome Sweet Sentiment coloring paper that you guys know and love. Um, so never fear. That was one of the biggest questions that I got. They were like, are you okay? And can I still get paper? <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, I would totally come stay with you. We would have a blast. They would have to shut that town down, girl. I was trying to get to Fillmore, California um, tomorrow because there's a Doberman there that I really want at a rescue. Um, but my husband said no. So, sad days. He's so mean. He told me no. <laughs> I know. I'm so bad about talking on the phone. I don't think my phone does that. I'm pretty sure that my phone um, just does tag messages. So you can text me. I will answer in 2.6 seconds or three to f or five to seven business days. Maybe seven to 10 business days. Not real sure. Cheryl, um, 
I just sent a huge box to Canada, not to you, but um, I got an order from Canada. She ordered a hundred items and I had to ship this box. It was 12 by 12 by 11 was the box, paper and everything. And um, it was like 50 US dollars to mail. But she does not get the same Cheryl service that my Cheryl gets. I know, right? She was taking advantage of the sale and she was like, well, you know, with Canadian dollars, it finally makes sense. And I was like, you are not wrong. So I don't like this line here and I'm starting to overwork the paper. So I'm just trying to add a little shading to it. There we go. I think that my E21 is too dirty. It's getting a little sticky and dry. So yes, if you guys could share the sale, that would be fantastic. I really need to clean out all of this stuff um, I really need to get rid of these stamp sets, these dies, um, the sequins, the enamel dots, all of these stickers, um, everything I have, I need to, to get rid of all the stock that I have because I need to make room for class kits. So I'm shamelessly begging y'all to help a sister out here. And, um, <gasps> Facebook kicked you off. Did you hear about the box I was just telling you that a girl ordered from Canada? Okay. And then I'm gonna make her cheeks a little bit red because she's leaning over and she's seeing a mermaid. So, I mean, come on now. All right. Right, you missed it, Cheryl. She was totally talking about you. Rude. Okay, um, the espresso. I wanted to see the espresso. Where is my espresso? Where did I put it? I just cleaned, oh, there it is. I just cleaned up my stamp room, so I have no, um, uh, no clue where anything is at. Hold on. Okay, so this is an espresso. It looks like a coffee cup. It usually has a label on it, but I took my label off. Um, Thank you, Joseph. I really appreciate you sharing the sale graphic. It really helps and the link and all that good stuff. Um, it has a wool, uh, felted wool bottom on it. Um, I will still be making espressos and candy, candy cups. I also have a few other crafty tools I'm working on as well. You guys are going to love them. Yes, they absolutely. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. Um, so this is an espresso. It looks like a coffee cup. It's the size of an espresso. You use it for pressing. So it's an espresso. Ha ha ha. Um, and, um, I use it for my Misty or my stamp platform because nice, even pressure gives you nice crispy stamp lines. Um, photopolymer and rubber is soft. So wherever you push to make that stamp stamp, you will get thicker lines. And on the peripherals, you will get thinner lines. With this, you have nice, even pressure. It's also ergonomic. You can hold it like this, like this, like this, however it is that works best for you. Also use this in place of a bone folder because it um, does not scar your paper like a bone folder does. Um, this is why Kim was using these for your make and take cat. Um, that's why she had them in your booth. Um, so anyways, so this has so many uses. I also use them, you know, when you put on like enamel dots and you push them on like that and it hurts your thumb, I use this instead. Um, there's a million other uses for it. I use it to burnish like my glue and stuff whenever I am, like if I put glue on the back of this and then I put this on, I burnish the glue with it so that it's nice and even. Um, 
like I said, there's just absolutely a million different things. Okay, so zooming back in. Um, let's start with this, I know, right? With this mermaid tail. Y'all want to start with the mermaid tail? Let's start with the mermaid tail. What color does our mermaid want to be? I know it's really fun and, um, you're going to be able to see lots of new companies, um, or new to you companies, um, because being able to do the kits again really frees me up. Um, Michelle wants a punk tail, so we're on it. <laughs> I love you, Billigan. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my Shadow RV69. And I am going to tell you I have these really cool color cards. Um, I have mine in an old school Rolodex because one of the girls at the... Um, Expo had an old school Rolodex and I bought it from her. Um, I mean, should we do Mohawk pink? <laughs> you said punk. Seafoam green. That might, um, that'll come into play with the ocean. Let's get some tail. <gasps> hey, big sister. How are you? I'm just going to go for a different pink. <laughs> right, Milligan? So I like to use a stipling technique, um, which requires me to hold my marker really vertically. So I apologize that my hand is probably going to be in the way for at least some of this. Hey, Dito, I was with Nana um, when Faith sent pictures of Zeke at the ocean. O-M-G. What a little nugget he is. Just thought I would take a moment to say that. Okay. Is the sticker lifting off your pen? Yeah, it is. Hot pink. Uh, we're gonna go 19. Um, I saw like three. So she's holding out on you. So when you're stippling, um, you want to hold the marker down close to the neck of the marker and you want to just, this is going to sound odd, Milligan, shush. Um, but you want to just like vibrate your hand. Um, yeah, Jen, what's the link for your Etsy shop so we can, we can be shopping. And Jen is one of the companies that said, that she was interested in helping out with one of the classes. So you will see something from Jen at some point in one of your kits. She was right there ready to sign on. So thank you. Same with Kat. She was right there ready to sign on. Um, same with Sandra. Um, Sandra that's on here. And I'm apologizing in advance. I cannot say your last name for the life of me, you Italian girl. Um, they will be found on my website, Cheryl. Um, they will be at www.sweetsentiment.us, same website. Um, but Sandy that owns the Sassy Club, she will be doing something for a class too. She's working on something very special for me. And I'm so excited. I've been asking for a long time for it. And she said she had a prototype on her desk that she was testing out. So, elbow, elbow, wink, wink. Stay tuned. Right? The link for my shop is... There you go. 
Turtle and dolphin. Who's the turtle? Who's the dolphin? Uh, that was the sassy club. Cheryl, if that's what you're asking about, the, that's working on something for me. The sassy club, cat scrappiness, brass and bliss, um, turtle and dolphin, um, several places, CC designs. Um, you'll see lots of stuff. The first one is me. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. The classes will be different every month. They'll have kind of a theme going on with them. Um, I try to source cool and unique things um, that are different so that you're not always getting the same thing in your kit. Um, I hate to get a kit that is like, yay, another paper pack and a spool of ribbon. Barf. So um, I wouldn't do that to y'all, I promise. Um, but there will definitely be some cool stuff because we have some super cool companies. Oh, Tall Mouse. The very first kit has some stuff from Tall Mouse in it. And Kim from Tall Mouse is wicked awesome. Love her. Thank you. Um, Lena made it for me. Um, the shop name is Turtle and Dolphin. I don't have anything in it just yet. I'm working on it, so stay tuned. Yep. Uh, Milligan, the, the nail polish is some of the glitter from Lena's mugs. Pine Barn Creations. Is it what I think it is? <laughs> you have sold out of the espressos. Yes, I have espressos on my site right now. The last of the ones that I have from the shows. And then once I sell out of those, you guys will be able to get them from Jen. I'm going to have to remember Turtle and Dolphin. I always just call you Jen. And I'm going to have to remember... gonna have to remember so anyways the classes will start the first one will go on sale um on august 1st and um you will be able to buy the class by itself the background yes tall mouse the class by itself the background by itself and um then you can order color all the things and that is the regular class, the background class, and the kit. The classes, as long as you keep the link, you will have them forever and ever, or as long as YouTube exists, because it's done via a private link on YouTube. The um, kit, Obviously, like I said, I will only have a hundred of them, but so you will want to be there or be square. My gosh, this little image is just so darn cute. How do you say your little critter? Um, Kim and um, Kat Kuoka. I'm saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it how it looks, and that's not how you actually say it. Okay, thanks for popping in, Jen. I appreciate it. Toodles. Kuaka. Kuaka? Kuaka. Okay. That makes me think of the Muppets. Waka, waka, waka. Um... We need a mermaid one. <laughs> For May of next year. Because every May is mermaid.
And Sandy, are you still here? Hi, Liz. Yeah, like that. Kowaka. Kowaka. And I know you have to say it fast, too. All right. So coloring in this mermaid tail, I'm not really making it transparent or anything at all. I'm making it a solid tail. Sometimes I like to make them transparent. Um, I was trying to find Sandra from Sassy Club because I was having her work on an image for me too. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Um, we were talking about our classes. Sweet Sentiment Coloring Classes are back, baby. I'm really excited in case you couldn't tell. Um, and so the first class will be out August 1st. And um, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm excited for the opportunity to work with a bunch of companies again. Um, that really makes me happy. I love that scenario. Classes? Yes, online coloring classes. They are what Sweet Sentiments started as. And now we're going back to online coloring classes. I originally ended up with a craft store because of COVID. And I was doing online coloring classes. And then the Rona came in and everybody's disposable income went away. And so um, I couldn't do classes any more so I had to pivot and I had to figure out what else I was gonna do um in order to keep my income stream alive and so what I came up with was being a stamp company so I survived the Rona hooray um but now it's time to go back to my roots and do what it is I really love to do um, yeah, different artists, different variety, um, different techniques. It's definitely a, um, a really great way to expand your repertoire into items or craft companies that you may not have already known. Um, introduce you to some new artists, um, introduce you to different techniques and different ways to color. Um, I teach coloring from a very unique standpoint. I um, spent time in law enforcement. No, I was not a police officer. Um, but I have a whole bunch of really cool fun college degrees that have fun things to do with psychology. And so I teach from a very psychological standpoint and I am not artsy at all. Um, so FYI, um, I teach with a really unique way of looking at things that I think people really appreciate and it's very different than what is out there on the market from anybody else. Um, I teach you essentially how to trick your brain into thinking it's looking at a three-dimensional object when it's not. Um, and so a lot of people have found my method of coloring much easier to understand and to achieve than um, some of the other methods of coloring that people teach. I also highly recommend that people take coloring from many different teachers, and I know that's not 
generally something that other instructors will tell you. Um, but I think that in order to create your own style, you have to take a little bit of something from each instructor to create what it is that you want to be able to create. So um, never ever feel bad coming to me saying, well, I learned this from this person or I learned this from this person. I will tell you that you have to be careful because there are some people out there that will teach you very false things. Um, and I don't want you to fall prey to that. But no, for the most part, anything you can pick up to create your own style will definitely help you. Person not artsy, as you say, you're sure coloring like an artist. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> I am exceedingly remedial when it comes to art. When I was little, I actually used to sit outside of the art room and cry because I did not want to go into the art room because I hated the art room. And I used to tell them, no, you can't make me go in there. Um, thanks. I like your tail too, baby. <laughs> oh, Milligan, you walked right into that one. Um, so, this is why I make fun of Milligan, because she makes it so easy. Um, so anyways, ooh, Milligan, how far are you from Fillmore, California? Um, anyways, so yeah, I teach very uniquely, very differently, very much not from an artist's background, and that's okay. Oh, you led me there? Well, I came running, baby. <laughs> Um, well, Google it, chickadee. You has the googs. Listen to me all bossing her around. Um, let's see, what else? What else? So coloring classes, big sale going on right now. Help me clear everything out. Please, pretty please with the cherry on top. Um, I'm not a bug butt begging. <laughs> um, but I do really need to get all this stuff out so that I can make room for kids. And I'm just so excited to be back to the coloring classes. Y'all have no idea. Um, I didn't realize I was not like on the screen at all. I like to hug my work when I color. So I always bring it closer to my body. So I apologize for going off screen. You just bought a few more things. I bet I can tell you what things you didn't buy. <laughs> just because I know you. Okay, so see this dock? See how it looks all like pretty and wooden and nice? Yeah, we're about to change that. I like to lay in these colors. Man, that looks so funny. I like to lay in these colors, 177 miles. Okay, not too shabby. Hmm. Just wondering, there's a puppy there that I want. Um, as I was saying, I like to lay in these colors that are like bright and shiny and pretty and then um, come in and kind of drab them down a little bit. 
um, especially on like a dock like this because I want it to look somewhat weathered. So I will come in with some of these other colors and I colored over her hair, which is probably not great. So her hair is going to have to be somewhat of a darker color, just saying, um, to kind of dress this down a little bit and make it not so bright and shiny and new. Okay, so we're gonna weather it some. Cause I, I hate to cut short, but I have to go pick something up that I bought and don't really need. <laughs> I love Facebook Marketplace for that. <laughs> Thanks, Kat, I appreciate you um, hanging out with us. And I mean, if you get back and I'm still coloring, then join on back. <laughs> I can't promise you I won't be still here coloring. I do want to be an affiliate for you, by the way. So um, please let me let me call you out in front of everybody. Um, let me get an affiliate link from you when we have time. See how much better that makes it? Love it. Just kind of adds that dimension, that little bit of weathered, makes it not quite so cartoony, if that's a word. I think it's a word, cartoon-ish, whatevs. Kim, are you still here? Or did you leave me? Joseph's still here watching. Is Harlan here? Or, um, oh, look, I was just calling you out. Um, is your husband here too, Joseph? Or is it just you? I got to tell you, oh yeah, you're coloring too. I forgot. I need you to not be coloring. I need you to um, be commenting. <laughs> uh, Ta-da, which is short for da-da-da-da. Okay, and then I'm going to go with, this might be too dark but we're gonna try it anyways, um, especially for under here. Her, oh no, that should be good. She's gonna be leaving a shadow on here. Um, this is E84 and it says khaki, but it's really got this like green kind of tint to it. So I just want to add some of this because timbers tend to get a little bit like mossy and stuff. Okay, have y'all been watching? Um, oh, he's working on a project. Thanks, Cheryl, you're so sweet. I just love you, Cheryl, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I forgot what I was saying. It's been so long since I've done a live color along that, or live coloring that, um, I don't even know where my brain is at right now. Oh, I know. Have you guys been watching my sourdough journey? I decided that I would join my sourdough era, that I would embrace it. I've always been a baker. I've always been somebody who bakes. Like, I used to own a bakery, for crying out loud. Like, telling you. So, it's not a far stretch for me to, um, I know it has been too long. Um, no, no, you changed your profile picture. All 
all while we were here. Um, and so when I was at Lena's house, she gave me some starter that she had made. And I was like, all right, I'll do this. And boy, oh boy, did I fall down that rabbit hole hardcore. Um, I am absolutely, um, I know, right? The things you don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how well it would ship. Now, to you, it might ship fine. To, um, to you and Julie, but Julie makes her own sourdough. Um, it might ship just fine, but to others that I know, <laughs> Milligan, I don't know that it's going to make it to Southern California very well. All right. I think I've overworked this enough. So what color bathing suit should she be wearing? You need to take both caps off. Yes. Um, so Copic markers, they have a core inside and the core is essentially cotton wrapped in plastic. So when you put ink in here, it condenses the cotton first and then it expands it. If you take this cap off, all of the ink will go to the point of least resistance. We live on earth, so gravity will pull the ink out of your pen. If you notice on the chisel nib of your pen, there's a hole on either side. That hole is to allow air to come into the core, relieve the pressure, and circulate air, um, which will relieve the pressure from that core. So um, Copic markers were engineered to be used with both caps off. You have to let that air into the core. Otherwise, you don't have control on how much ink comes out. And um, oh my gosh, Joseph, that's funny. Yeah, you learn the hard way. So it will pre prevent blobs from your paper, and it will also give you more control of um, how thick your brush strokes are and how much ink comes out of your marker, especially if you have them freshly filled. So always, always, always color with both caps off. Always. All right. This is not a bikini, but I get a lot of... Two ply and two diapers later, I'm back. <laughs> um, Sandy, I was asking... Um, Number one, um, that image that I asked about, elbow, elbow, wink, wink, um, if that was a thing maybe for a class. Um, and then the um, other specific project that you have sitting on your desk that you were testing out. I wanted to know how your testing went. Never heard this before. Good to know. Oh my gosh, Liz, where have you been learning how to color? Um, because Milligan, I am not an artist, so I had to find out how the tools worked so that I could figure out how to use the tools. Um, so the markers and the paper, and that's like, I became a paper junkie figuring out how the paper was put together. So I knew how the markers interacted with the paper and what it did and why it did those things. And so that is why I learned how the markers are manufactured and um, what they do, what they're meant to do, how the ink works, how it interacts with one another, why it does that. Um, and that's why I teach very differently is because a lot of uh, people just teach from an artistic standpoint. And I teach from a psychological standpoint of I need to know how all of this works in order to make it work. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, so I have a lot of lime green requests. So we're gonna we're gonna start with a lime green. Um, so lots of research is essentially the answer. Yup. On my own, no place to get certified anymore, I guess. I can see my improvements as I go along. Practice, practice, practice. Um, Copic certification is not all that it's cracked up to be. Um, I have been told, and this is in, coming from a place of honesty, not a place of um, tooting my own horn, as it were. Um, but I've been told by people who were Copic certified as experts and able to teach the Copic certifications that they learn more in my class in a half an hour 
then they learned their entire certification process. So um, just know that um, certification isn't necessarily, I'm not COPIC certified, number one, because they don't do it anymore, but number two, because I don't need that, I guess. I don't know. I also learned to color on my own. Um, I've had influences. I've learned from people. Um, and like I said, I, I fully believe that you should learn from several teachers because you will pull things and information from one teacher that's really going to resonate with you and click, but then you'll pull other ideas from another teacher that will really resonate. And, um, it definitely is a way to create your own style. Just like this, I like coloring no lines. I like making those lines disappear. And I'm waiting for Sandy to answer. She has a baby, and so it's really hard for her to answer sometimes because she has a baby. I have to use one of these colors over here that I have set aside. Yeah. You learn a lot from different people, and I'm um, one of the few instructors that will tell you that because a lot of people are like, no, you got to learn it from me. You got to learn my way. And honestly, I think the best thing is to create your own style and create what you like, and you're going to not be able to pick that up from one instructor. It's going to be from several. So don't be afraid. Okay, so I have that. I like it. I'm not in love with it. So there's definitely going to end up being a um, pattern or something. But I'm going to bring in this YG21. Oops, sorry. And add a highlight here. So just like this, I know that because there's so much more... Um, I learn, then I tweak it to what fits me best, yeah. Um, so just like this marker, I know that this marker has enough colorless blender solution in it to kind of dissipate the other markers. And um, it has the gray level that I'm wanting because I don't want this to be like super shiny because I'm gonna come in with my white gel pen and put a highlight in there as well. But I, I know what that marker is gonna do when I pick it up. So there's that. Um, I also am not a super duper big fan of this line right here and it's because there's not a stop gap in the middle of these so I'm gonna take and do a little bit of tip to tip blending to get this to blend a little bit better And blending is a complete misnomer. None of these markers actually blend. Um, Copic markers are not made to blend. Yes, there is Archie. You are correct. Um, they actually layer. I feel like a lot of people are jumping ship on Copic because lately the Copic blending will always be. Yes, Copic blending will always, always be better. Always. There's just, they, there's nothing like it. All of the other markers out there on the market are actually scholastic grade. Um, the ink that's in them is scholastic grade. The, these Copic markers are, um, professional grade. So 
that's the big difference right there. They use their own proprietary blend of, of ink. Okay, her hair. What color would you like her hair? Ah, oh, thanks, Cheryl. Dark brown, auburn, red. All right, we're gonna go a dark brownish, reddish color. No problem. Let me find what it is I want to find. <sighs> 1808. Uh, I wanna do like 24. Okay, chestnut. We're going like a dark brownish red. Okay. Um, Sandy, that the item that's on your desk that you were testing, have you tested it? Is it fantastic? Is it all systems go? Or does it need tweaked again? That's what I need to know. We are probably not going to get to a background on this today. So I will save it for next week. So if you pop on next week, Sunday, um, at 4 p.m., same time. Yeah, Angela, this... um released today. It's a digital image from Sweet November Stamps. Thanks for popping on. Miss you, girl. Um, anyway, so next Sunday, 4 p.m., I will be online coloring, and we'll do a background for this, and then I will draw a name. So whoever was here today and whoever's here then, I will draw a name. Um, yeah, I did. I got several of them that I showed at the beginning of the of the live. Um, anyways, I will draw a name and you will be entered to win the card. That is the result. Of this. If you want it. You don't have to have it. Okay. I'm sure we would want it. <laughs> well, I mean, I hate to just assume that somebody wants a card because I colored it on a live. Um, but hey. I love coloring Harry, y'all. Hair's my jam. Just remember, always go with the direction of the hair. Notice that my brush strokes change directions. They get curved around the back of her head. And then this part where her hair is hanging straight, they come out straight. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, international. I don't think it's fair when people don't send things. I mean, I understand like big things because like I was saying, that box cost me a lot to ship to that girl, but she was very grateful and very helpful with the whole scenario as most Canadians tend to be. Most customers tend to be, honestly. 
if I'm being real honest. There's always the one bad apple that sours the bunch, you know? Coloring hair is my jam. You will get lots of hair in my classes. Um, I color lots of critters. I color lots of people. I don't do a ton of botanicals, um, but I do some. Oh my God, look at that red in there. Swoon. There's a number of you in here who have taken my classes before. You can help shed light on the subject. Comment what is like your biggest takeaway from my classes that's different from the other classes you've taken. Joseph, you've been in quite a number of my classes. Um, Julie, Cheryl. Um, Cheryl, you used to do the online coloring classes, right? Um... Milligan, for those of you that have been to the retreats, Angela, <laughs> did you say shop wing, yaddy, 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 whoa. Look at how pretty. I love when hair kind of develops. That's probably why it's my favorite thing to color because you I mean you just got to be patient and stick with it and then it all of a sudden you're like whoa this is where Cheryl says that I color and fast forward man oh crap Don't worry about the back of her head. I'll fix it. She's just going to have a little bit larger of a head. It's okay. And your stamp store business when I found you. Oh. Oh, that's right, Cheryl. You came in right as I was... Right as the Rona got to... I thought I remembered you being around... So because I made this big boo-boo on the back of her head, I'm just gonna come in with my darker colors. Oh, <laughs> your brain is on cold medicine. Um, Yeah, both caps off is a big, big thing that most people just don't know. And a lot of the Copic instructors don't teach it. And I don't know why they don't teach it. It just, it gets to me. Okay. I know, I love that. When, um, whenever you come to class, you're always like, this is what I learned new this time. I did not know that. And that makes me really happy. That... Even though you've taken so many classes, you still end up learning. <gasps> How cute is she? Her eyebrow needs to be a little bit darker. Oh, look at her. Okay, mermaid hair. Yeah, he definitely is. He definitely is. He's very expressive about it, too. What color for the mermaid hair? Thanks, Cheryl.
Blonde. You and the blonde. What's up with the blonde? Blonde. Platinum. Teal. <laughs> Drawing a blank. All right. I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to refer to my color cards because I have a blonde in here that I really like. And so for those of you who don't know, color cards are on the website. They're a digital download. They are super duper handy. I want to use this one. This is Honey Blonde. I don't like doing platinum. Oh, silver would be cool too. I don't like doing platinum unless I have no lines stamped it because the lines in here really mess with platinum and it draws your eye and it just looks wrong. So um, if you're wondering why I'm avoiding that, it's because, not because I don't think that it's a good color, but because I have stamped in the wrong kind of ink for that. So um, that's your answer. And Kim, I'm not doing teal because she is right next to the water. And I know in advance that I'm probably going to make this water with a number of teal tones to it. So um, I put the washi tape on my brush nib end. Um, so anyways, I don't want her hair to just disappear into the water. But I love a good dip dye, so, you know, it's not against okay I'm also going to come down here in the shadow part again always remember go with the direction of the hair right here where her hair comes up from the water it's Gonna have a pretty good bend to it. Um, hi, Brandy. How the heck are ya? Um, <laughs> you're so sweet. I was just talking about coloring classes, girl. They're coming back. You have never gotten to take the online coloring classes either. Brandy got to take a in-person class from me the expo and we just hit it off talk about good people she's awesome okay that's all I'm gonna do for that color um, 26 so anyways I'm going to promote the sale again just because you guys know I need to make room for all of the stuff for the new classes. So please, if you don't shop the sale, that is totally fine. But if you could share the sale graphic, that would be amazing and helpful to me. And I sure would appreciate it. Um, you can find it on pretty much any of my social medias. Um... It is basically 20 to 50% off of everything in the store. And um, I just really need to get rid of some of this product. And so you guys get to benefit from all that. So summer blowout sale. Shop until you drop. Or you can drop first and then shop because, I mean, you're shopping online, so. I was at the Orlando Expo. I gave someone, I think, you a star. I'm... <gasps> you. Oh my gosh, that's you, Liz? I have it literally sitting right here. Yep, you gave me a star. And I freaking love it. And it's right here. Um, it's on my little table right there. You're the bomb. 
I remember you now and I know who you are. Thank you for saying that because now I know who you are. <laughs> Hi, Melanie. Oh, that's so funny. I'm really glad you popped in and that you've been here and watching and asking questions. That kind of made my day. That star made my day. I showed it to my parents when they came over. I showed my husband. I was like, isn't this the sweetest thing? She makes cards. For those of you who are wondering what the hey, hey, I'm talking about. Um, she makes little cards for military um, and law enforcement. She used to just do military. Now she does military and law enforcement. Um, and they have a piece, one of the stars, off of a retired flag on it. And so she gave me one of these stars and these little patriotic cards that she makes that are wicked cute. And it just touched me so much. Um... It was such a sweet gesture. She came up to me and gave me one. And I love it. It does. It means a lot to me. Um, so, yeah. It was very cool. Very, very cool. All right. It's just, it's such a little thing, but it just, it's so, it just means so, so much for those of us who have had to protect it. You know what I'm saying? So, look at how this hair is developing, guys. It's super fun. All right. Someone gave me one as a September 11th first responder. It brought me to tears, so I pay it forward. Well, it definitely, like, it gave me chills. So, I would love to say it brought me to tears, but I'm not a crier. I have a little black heart. <laughs> a coffee-soaked heart. Right, Kim? Cue the buckets of coffee. I know that um, Brandy would be down with our buckets of coffee as well. And then when we're done with the coffee, we would fill it with cocktails and have a bucket of cocktails. <laughs> So the last thing I'm going to do today is the eyes. And then, um, <laughs> yay, thanks, Cheryl. So the last thing we're going to do today is the eyes. And the eyes to me are always like a super important. <laughs> Kim's like, may or may not have already happened. I may or may not have sent her a picture that I put a cocktail in my, in my, Coffee, my bucket of coffee. Um, so I'm going to give the mermaid blue eyes um, because I think it's fun. They're going to be a little... Hmm. Ooh, now I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> really, Michelle? <laughs> bucket of mimosa oh julie tammy made us buckets of mimosa one year at that show you did too no you didn't i made the mimosas <laughs> at that show i mean i can neither confirm nor deny anything julie's like i'll bring the stuff for mimosas you can make them because i don't know what i'm doing and i'm like dude it's just champagne and orange juice it's not that hard she was like, yeah, whatever. I don't do that. Yeah, at the moon. No, you mean just spontaneously bursting into tears. <laughs> Sitting on the couch. Okay, so bear with me because her eyes are going to look super crazy for a hot minute. I 
and you're gonna think, what did she just do? Yes, Cheryl, you can. I read that as goo. Can you can you use the goo or the goo for any color? <laughs> yes, I use it for every color of eyes, all of them. Um, I want to put brown in her eyes, and I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I am. So I'm going to use my E25, so it's like a medium brown. And because her eyes are so tiny, I'm not going to put a ton of other stuff in there. Um, but I do like to use a little bit of yellow. To lighten them up. And then because I took so much blue out of them, I'm going to add a little bit of light. Sort of my life, people asking, what did she just do? <laughs> a little bit of this kind of aqua blue back in. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I'll show close up. Okay. Then, they still look a little bit funky, but that's because I don't have, where is it? Her pupils in here. And then I like to add a little bit of extra. Then I grab my white gel pen makes them so expressive. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it for her eye and um, I'll show you step by step so you can see it a little bit better. I didn't think about it as I was going through and doing hers. So I'm gonna start with my G000. And so these eyes, Amy tends to draw like a pretty big pupil in there already. And um, I don't care for that because I like to do this style of eye. So that's generally why I stamp in no lines. So I'm going to start with my G-O-O. -O, or you can use triple zero, whatever your hand lands on first. And I'm just going to draw a circle that incorporates that pupil. Like that. Okay. Um, mainly you're wetting the paper, priming the paper. I'm going to take, so I still use five markers when I do my eyes, but if you look, this B97 is the darkest, E25 is medium, BG02 is my middle color, Y04 is a highlight, and G000 is my highlight, the lightest highlight. So it still goes dark, medium, light, and then the two bridge colors. So no matter what I do, I still use this same method of picking up my markers. So then what I do 
is I go out from the center of her pupil and make some striations in her eyes. And like I said, this is gonna look a little bit odd. I'm gonna use the E25 and I'm gonna kind of outline the eye lightly and then do brush marks inwards towards the center of her eye. So again, looks awful. Looks like a complete hot mess. This time I'm gonna add this blue prior to adding the yellow because I want her eyes to show a little bit more blue. Okay. I'm gonna add yellow just over where the pupil is. Cause that's gonna lighten up the center. And then I'm gonna go back in with this G triple zero and I'm gonna brush in between where that yellow and the brown is on the outside of her eye. Kind of pushing that brown out to force it to soften up a little bit. Just like that. It's not quite as smooth as I want it on this side. There we go. How long have you been coloring with Copics? Um, just about eight years, nine years. Need that to dry just a little bit. Maybe longer now. I really honestly can't remember. I'd have to look back. Okay, so I add the little pupil into the center. I'm gonna come around the same as I did with the mermaid and add some eyeliner. Gonna add some little lashes. Usually do them in groups of three. Then I take my white gel pen. I add a large highlight right where the highlight of the eye would be. A tiny highlight to show that it's round. And then like a crescent that's a little bit lighter on the edge. Also on her swimsuit, since it's shiny, I'm gonna add a highlight right to the edge of that. And I'm not gonna highlight on her hair because I'm gonna use glitter, but I am gonna add a few light highlights to her tail. I don't wanna do too much because I'm gonna be coloring over this with a Copic, but I want it to dry overnight so that I don't pick up the gel with my Copic. And notice how I'm brushing it with my finger because I don't want specific lines. I want them to be softer. Now this girl, yes, this will be on YouTube, later. Oh, yeah, Liz, plenty of time. I do the same thing with her hair. I just want to add a couple of highlights in here, but I don't want them to be like super you know, like lines. It just doesn't look good when it's that way. To me anyways, personal preference. Okay, so now that adds some movement and highlight to her hair. Okay, so this is what we have got to today. Like I said, we will do the background at our next live, which is next Sunday um, at 4 p.m. Mountain time. So that's three Pacific, four Mountain, five central and six eastern 
Um, that's going to be pretty much my new days is I will be here Sunday afternoons. And um, yeah, so go ahead and shop the site www.sweetsentiment.us. Um, and then don't forget if you're on the site, um, sign up for the email. Um, there's a newsletter sign up that it gives you and we will be sending out information via the email for the um, coloring classes. Our first class hopefully is going to release on August 1st. So um, you will be able to get your hot little hands on that. Um, oh, Kim, thank you. Michelle, thank you. Joseph, thank you and feel better. Um, Anyways, so please shop the sale, shop till you drop, and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. Um, it will just be for um, classes, so you'll just have class and retreat information in the newsletter so we don't spam you. And I'm going to go make dinner for my boys. <laughs> so I will see you all next Sunday. Don't forget to check out all of the social medias. Um, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have TikTok. I have YouTube, so check out all of the social medias. And um, if you are a personal friend and on my personal page, look forward to more sourdough. Because <laughs> I'm addicted. Oh, Laquita, you're still here. You were being so quiet. <laughs> I thought you left. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next week. Toodles!